Hello, it's Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars and an ENV200. We sell quite a number of these cracking vans. Uh, this is on a 64 plate, registered the 11th of November 2014, so it's just over three years old. It's the Ascenta Rapid Plus, which basically means you've got the rapid chargeability and also the 6.6 .6 onboard charger, which means from a fast charger or your home charger. It will charge and after one hour about 25 miles range will be added so in about three hours you can fully recharge this van now this has been used by a builder it's just come back uh, to us so basically it's all ply lined but there's also been some shelving put in which uh, of course can be removed well, i've left it in for now but if you want that taken out that's not a problem there's a type 1 to type 2 cable for your six kilowatt charging and also the granny cable as well I'll open all four, well, four doors. I'll open all the doors. We have a reversing camera as well. So it's seen some work, but it drives absolutely spot on. The body works in very nice condition. Obviously, if you took this out, you're going to free up some of the space. But uh, twin side loading doors um, drives really, really well. Steel bulkhead, ready for work. Have a little reversing camera in the back. Uh, there's some uh, roof bars for your ladders. Really is very, very clean. So we've got the two keys. The beeping is just telling me the car or well, the van is running. There's the two Nissan proper keys. No holes to the floor. I'll put a mat in here as well. The upholstery is very, very clean. You can see. No rips or tears, no undue odours in this either. It really is a great van. So, the van is actually running. So, uh, I'll scroll through this menu here. So, there's battery temperature, battery capacity showing all 12 bars, um, averages, trips, dates. Now, there's the two charge times. So it's basically saying to 100% at 6 kilowatts it'll take 3 hours, but at 3.3 kilowatts it'll take 4 hours. So you've got the faster 6 kilowatt onboard charger, which is really, really nice to see. But it's still rapid charged in about 20 minutes, up to 80%. So, um, and there's the battery percentage actually left. CD player, Bluetooth phone, you can, you've got an auxiliary input. Normal heater arrangement with aircon. Takes about two or three minutes to warm up to the temperature. You press auto, just then maintains 16 degrees inside the van. But again, I can explain all this to you. Almost like a conventional gearbox with park. So you put your foot on the brake, slide down for reverse. Then you get the reversing camera come on, which is very, very useful. And we've got neutral and then drive and B which is engine braking which again I can explain to you which is a little efficiency mode in the ENV200 lots of storage lots of cubby holes all the manuals are here so all the operating instructions from Nissan are here and so I was going to tell you all the documents are here as well but let me show you that now so the service book is here if you've done some research on the internet you'll realise these don't need a lot of servicing but there are some stamps, two stamps in the book, one at 5,000 miles and the last at 20,535 miles on the 10th of November 17. So it's been serviced and checked over and the MOT, because its first one would have been in the November, and the MOT they printed this off uh, DVLA's website MOT expires 10th of November 2018 and the V5 is here there was one previous keeper and then so you'll be down as the third keeper and it's an ENV 200 Ascenta Rapid Plus registered the 11th of November 2014 zero road tax to pay on these and at the moment <laughs> these electric vans don't actually need an MOT but obviously it's always good to have an MOT just to check the various uh, 
faults and failings etc. So before I walk you around the van I'll uh, just take you for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. So with your foot on the brake, if the keys are in the van, you take to the keys, press the power button. There we go. The van is on, but without any of that diesel rattle. Turn the handbrake off, foot still on the brake, pull the gear stick down from P all the way down to D. D appears in the dashboard, so you foot off the brake, and like every automatic, it will roll forward. Control the speed with the throttle, come off the throttle. I'm just going to turn. And there we go. This is actually based on the Nissan Leaf. Uh, Nissan have made 300,000 of the Leaf quite a few thousand of the EN V200 so uh, these are great fantastic and if you're looking to save huge amounts of money on your fuel expenses for your business <laughs> these are a real no-brainer great to drive drives all being straight doesn't pull to the left or the right um, it's here with me on Orkney CS Oman in Stromness does all the servicing when I say servicing I basically mean check the tyres, check the brakes, brake fluid change every two years and that's it. Um, very very little to service on an electric van. So ask Conrad and he will tell you. Ironically, like I was saying earlier, at the moment electric vans fall into a milk float category with regard to an MOT. They don't actually need an MOT. But uh, this has been MOT'd at his third birthday as if it was a car, which is a good thing because MOT's basically check that the tyres and the suspension are okay. So, you know, for the sake of £45, £50, pounds, it's, it's worth having any vehicle checked out for at least, well, once a year and after three years. But technically, <laughs> these electric vans do not require an MOT. But um, I think that loophole in the law will change soon. And for, and we, for good reason as well. So, it drives exactly as it should, it's done 21,400 miles, um, it's here on Orkney if you'd like to borrow this, you can drop me a line, um, and it's ready for work. Quite a few ENV 200s around on Orkney, so stop a driver, ask them what they think to it, and um, you will find out. So, I'm going to turn around, and the beauty of the electric vehicles is when you come off the throttle, you get some indication on the dashboard saying that you're in for regen braking. And what that means is basically the, the motor turns into a dynamo and causes drag, slows the vehicle down, called engine braking, but in the process of slowing down creates electricity and pushes that back into the battery, thus increasing your range. So you have to get used to the fuel gauge, if you like, going up as well as down when you're driving. Um, obviously if you go down a steep hill you might gain 3-4 miles but obviously if you go up the other side and it's a steep hill upwards then obviously you'll lose 3-4 miles so it's constantly assessing its range all the time so I'll just pull over the driver being straight does exactly what it says on the tin The first thing people do notice when they jump into one of our electric vans is how quiet it is compared to the normal van. You can see we're still running. So there we go. So that concludes this uh, short test drive and uh, I'll take you now for a final walk around this van. So welcome back from the test drive. I will point out every imperfection I can see starting at the front. There are no chips to the bonnet. There's a small chip to this plastic flap which is the charging flap. No chips to the windscreen, wing mirrors are really clean. Um, yeah, there's not an awful lot to point out with regards to imperfections. Um, there was some paint on here, so I'll take this off with some thinners, but this will black up again, the bumper. You're seeing it unprepared, other than just a quick wash. I can't fault it. The only thing I can fault is the, 
The non-standard Nissan wheel trims, these look a bit like Techno wheel trims off the Techno Leaf. There's just some grazing on the near side front, but all the other wheel trims are perfect. Um, yeah, it's a useful tool that's very, very, very clean. We will not have this for long. It's here with me on Orkney. If you'd like any more details, I will look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks for watching.